It's a PT graph, position versus time, and it's measuring kilometers versus time. Knowing what you know now, please press pause, and please solve for the questions on the side. Where is it going fastest, slowest, and where is it at rest? Please press pause and go to it, guys. You know what's going on, so the answers are going to be correct. The fastest speed, or the fastest velocity in this case, is going to be the steepest slope. And the steepest slope we observe is letter A. In fact, it's gone up one, two, three. I can just see it's gone up about four boxes, and it's only spanned one box. So I know that's actually going to be pretty fast compared to the rest. That's definitely the fastest. Where do we see the slowest speed? This, you could call it a trick question. It really is not meant to be. You might say letter B is the place where it is actually moving the slowest because at letter B indicates it's at rest. I totally understand what you mean. I just want to say where is it actually moving but moving the slowest. And where it's moving the slowest is going to be the gentlest slope. Okay, the gentlest slope. Which one has a gentler slope? Letter C or letter D? And when you look closely at it, you're going to see letter D has the gentlest slope. Okay, so fastest moving on a PT graph is going to be your steep slope. Slowest is going to be the more gentle slope. And if you're actually going to say, well, I understand this object right here is at rest, then you're, you're right too. I understand what you're saying. You're definitely cool. Okay, guys, I want to look at a few more graphs here before we close down for the session. And uh, let's just get right into it. Anytime I have rightward velocity, all right, I have in a PT graph, we're looking here at I am in the positive zone here. Positive velocity, I am moving away from where I started. And we, we also say this is at no acceleration. All right, it's constant velocity, no acceleration. We haven't addressed this yet, but when I have a changing velocity on a PT graph, it's the first time you're going to see it, I have a curve line. A curve line on a PT graph like this means changing acceleration, or changing velocity rather, constant acceleration. So this object is accelerating. Well, I have a changing slope. If I have a changing slope of the line, remember, in a PT graph, the slope is velocity. If I have a changing slope, I have a changing velocity. So check it out, guys. You are going to see this again. Anytime I have a curved, curved line on a PT graph, it means I'm going to have an accelerating object with changing velocity. Straight line means no acceleration, just constant velocity. So constant velocity, changing velocity. You saw this before here, okay, straight line. Straight line is going to mean constant velocity. Straight line over here, constant velocity. Difference is the slope. This is a slow constant velocity because I have a gentle slope, and this is a fast constant velocity because, no, this is not correct here. It's not gentle. It's steeper. It's not necessarily steep, but it's steeper. All right, call it a little typo there. Okay, how about this one, guys? Anytime my object on a PT graph has a slope that is actually trending in this direction back towards the origin is leftward velocity, as this title says. These are leftward or negative velocity. Low slope means I'm moving slowly. That's the whole point here, right? Get the slopes right. Steep slope. Yeah, it looks a little weird because it's going in this direction rather than this direction. But no, going in this direction simply means I am moving leftward. In this case, the leftward motion is negative velocity. It is moving fast, and I know that because it's a steep slope. On top of everything you see here, this line is kind of good for us. There is no acceleration going on here. Because in order to see acceleration on a PT graph, I would have had to see a line like this, curved, doing that. Okay, these are straight lines. Straight lines means constant velocity. I want to show you that. In this case, I have leftward velocity. My object is moving leftward, or negative velocity. I am trying to show you here that this. Both of these are giving me acceleration. An object that is changing its velocity. I know that because I have a curved line on here and a curved line on here. So anytime you see a curved line, please note we're talking about an accelerating object in a position versus time graph. And I'm stressing continually that we're looking at a position versus time graph. Because when we look at a velocity versus time graph very soon, the shapes will have different meanings on the different graphs. So always understand, look at the axis to understand what you are measuring. All right, guys, that's kind of where I want to end it today. I know it was a long video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope it was helpful. Have a good night.